Greetings, interpret listeners. Picture this. You got two golden tickets to exciting new career adventures. Meet Emma at the crossroads, holding those tickets but hesitating, opting for the known or the unknown. Why? That's the mystery we are cracking wide open today. No to new beginnings, understanding the reasons behind job offer declines. It's a roller coaster of anecdotes, insights, and a dash of humor. Just like Manish choosing salad over pizza, we are decoding the enigma behind those thanks but no thanks moments in the job market. So fasten your seatbelts for a journey full of aha moments and maybe a few laughs. Let's unravel the tales behind job offer declines. It's going to be adventure. I aim to contribute my extensive 12 years of corporate experience by sharing insights and observation gather from my interactions with the candidates during job offers. This podcast encapsulates the challenges often faced in the realm of job offers. Familiar terrain from seasoned recruiters and sources. If you believe you are well versed in the domain, consider podcast as a refresher session. Alternatively, if this information is new to you, please express your interest. My goal is to disseminate knowledge within my network and this podcast series is my chosen medium for achieving that. My little ice adventurer, Samantha, has a sweet tooth to the rival, Willy Wonks. So I took her to the ultimate ice cream wonderland with more choices than a superhero has gadgets. Her eyes widened at the colors and textures like a kid in a candy store. Well, in this case, an ice cream store. Amidst the frozen treasures, she settled on seemingly ordinary ice cream, but with gems and a rainbow of chocolates as its sidekicks. As she dove into the frozen masterpiece, I couldn't help but inquire, Sammy, why this one? So many flavors to conquer. Her response in a tone only she could muster was, Uncle promised me a mix of all favorites in one scoop. It's like the Avengers of ice creams and I'm the superhero here. Then she devoured the entire thing, not sharing a single gem, not even with me. This hilarious ice cream escapade got me thinking about job offers. Candidates are like ice cream enthusiasts. They want the job, have expectations and do their research. But we recruiters, we are the flavor wizards, blending their preferences within the company rules into a concoction so irresistible that saying yes feels a epic as saving the world with a single scoop. Life's a grand ice cream adventure and job offers should be just as thrilling. In this episode, we will dwell into the couple of real life examples that shed light on the intricacies of hiring processes and dynamics surrounding job offers. I vividly recall a remarkable experience with a senior offer I handled. The candidate hailing from a non-traditional company, which is non-targeted company, was invited at the last minute to an event. Surprising expectations in the interview The interviewer suggested considering him for a senior role despite his lesser experience. As a recruiter, I approached the hiring manager with a high-level recommendation proposing additional rounds with top interviewers from the team. Luckily, the manager agreed and the candidate excelled in the subsequent interviews. The challenge arose when we discovered the candidate's compensation was disproportionately low. I crafted an exciting offer surpassing his current salary by 10x. The finance team questioned this. Given the lower cost compared to the previous offer, I presented the case highlighting the candidate's top-notch interview performance. The candidate's interview performance was described as top-notch by all involved interviewers. Strong recommendations each interviewer provided resonating recommendations or feedback for the candidate suitability for the senior role. Team parity. 
the inclusion of the candidate in a senior role was carefully evaluated to ensure it wouldn't disturb the existing team dynamics. Compensation realities acknowledging the prevalence of compensation information on the internet. It was critical to justify a generous offer. Anticipating attrition risk. Initially, content with 5x salary increase, there was a recognition that after 6 months to 1 year, attrition risk might arise if the candidate become aware of broader salary ranges, potentially leading to demotivation. Complex negotiation process was presented to the finance team, highlighting the candidate's exceptional qualities, the unified support from the interviewers and the importance of maintaining team harmony. The argument was made that while the initial offer might seem generous, it was strategic investment to secure the candidate long term. This holistic approach considering both immediate satisfaction and potential future concerns ultimately contributed to the successful offer acceptance. The candidate overjoyed by the offer eventually saw multiple promotions with the company, reinforcing the importance of re recognizing and rewarding exceptional talent. While a 10x approach might not suit for every case, this experience taught me that valuing candidates' abilities is crucial. It is two-way street. If we do not recognize their worth, they may not accept our offer. This journey underscored the significance of acknowledging and rewarding talent for long-term satisfaction and success. In this episode, we explored an example of job offer through the lens of ice cream adventures. Using a real life example, we have learned about the complexities of negotiation offers, emphasizing the importance of recognizing and rewarding the talent. As we wrap up, remember the job offers like crafting the perfect ice cream scoop require a blend of understanding, negotiation, and strategic thinking. Whether you are a job seeker or a recruiter, valuing talent is crucial for long-term satisfaction and success. Stay tuned for more insights on fascinating journey of job offers. Thank you so much for listening to episode 1. See you in the next episode. This is Sanjay Samuel signing off.